Hello my friends, David Kessler here and welcome back to the studio. I get lots of people that ask me, uh, you know, what does your video setup look like? And there's tons and tons and tons of videos on YouTube that tell you exactly how to set up for shots and everything. But since so many people have asked what I use and what my setup is, I'm going to show you that today. Okay, you guys asked for it, so here it is. Here's my studio setup when I'm filming videos. As you can see, I've got a little stool for me to sit on. I've got photographer's uh, light boxes. I use four of those because I don't have all that much natural light in my studio, which is what I like. I have a tripod here. And also, what I use for filming simply is an iPad. If you have another recording device, that'll work fine. Just so happens that I use an iPad. Uh, as you can see, the cord there is hooked up to my microphone, which I have a boom microphone that I use. Uh, there's various options for that. There's clip-ons and wireless and wired and all that sort of stuff. I typically just use this boom microphone. And I connect the cabling for the sound to my iPad, which sits on a tripod. And there again, you just need an iPod connector or an iPad connector from, you know, Amazon or somebody to connect the iPad to the tripod, right? Photographer's lights, these light boxes, I buy these at Amazon. They come with the stand, the cord, the, the light boxes, and the light bulbs, all in a package. And you can usually get two, three, or four of those together. That's what they look like. Easy peasy, pretty simple setup, nothing complicated. There you have it. I keep it as simple as possible like everything else I do, so it's not too compl complicated for me to use. I simply use an iPad as a recording device. You can use anything that you want, iPhone, iPad, uh, any kind of a camera. Uh, I connect it with the boom microphone, which is right here. I have these photographer's lights. I use four of those. Typically, now if I set up over here closer to the window, I may only need two. So you have to, you know, don't don't buy too many to start with. Maybe you just need two if you have a lot of uh, light in your studio. Maybe you don't need any if you have a lot of light coming through. So you have to kind of see what the, the recordings look like uh, with the lighting. You know, do some test shots and to see what works. Like I say, I bought all this stuff at Amazon, the tripods, the connector for the iPad. The photographer's lights, the boom microphone, the whole thing, all that stuff on Amazon, uh, reasonably priced. Plenty of options for products to choose from on there. Keep your setup simple, particularly when you're starting so you don't have a lot of startup costs doing the video. Videos are a good way to communicate with people that care about what you do. Uh, it's a good way to get your work out into the world, to get your ideas and your message out there. Uh, that's what I do with these videos. I thank all of you for watching. I appreciate uh, you being uh, uh, interested in what it is that I do. Uh, thank you so much for leaving comments that let me know more about you and what you do. Um, I hope this video was helpful for you. Like I said, it's not a technical video how to do this, how to do that. It's simply just for the equipment that I use because so many people have asked for it and to see the setup. And it's very simple when you see it behind the scenes. You know, it looks more like a, a film studio in here than it does a painting studio. But uh, that's the way it works for me. I hope this video was helpful for you. Uh, if you have comments or questions, please leave those below and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks.